Hey everyone, so I'm a little bit closer than normal. Um, I'm in a different location altogether. And I have my colours of the rainbow. I've just run up and down the stairs. I've got my colours of the rainbow um, penultimate challenge. It's purple. And um, <laughs> um, if you didn't know what this was, so I thought up the challenge of using the makeup that we have and using the colours of the rainbow to kind of go through our makeup and use the items that we've bought because we have bought a lot and show you um, a different take on um, the colours that are in the rainbow. Um, so I am actually collabing and that's why I keep saying we. Um, I'm collabing with Claire from The Love of All Things Beauty and Vicky, Vicky? <laughs> Victoria from Victoria J. I'll link those down below um, and the exciting news is that although this is every two weeks and um, <clears throat> we're coming to the end of this particular challenge we are actually going to be doing something exciting next I'm not going to give that away I don't know whether the other girls have or not I'm hoping they haven't if they have then you will know already by seeing the videos but if they haven't then I won't give it away until we're ready to announce it really um, this particular one, the purple challenge, purple colours of the rainbow challenge, I decided to sort of up the ante a little bit and choose to, for all of us to try and do this look for under £20. So not only is it a colours of the rainbow collab challenge, it's also an under £20 challenge. So what I'll do is I'll, I have really thought hard about this. Um, and the reason I sort of went for it is because of these two eyeshadows from Freedom. Um, I'm so happy with these and they're a pound each so I thought you know what I bet you I could probably get the whole look for under £20 and that includes your tools so what I might do is I might do um, sort of <laughs> I don't edit my videos but I sort of pause them when I need to so um, I'm gonna tell you what I'm using and then I might just put a bit on my face and then pause it etc so it's not the longest video in the world so as you know I wear glasses <laughs> um, I wouldn't not use as much as I normally use but I am going to use quite a few items and quite a few brushes and I'll tell you why soon so first up is my one pound bargain BB cream it's actually my favorite base and I have been trying the Charlotte Tilbury one. It was just a sample which was free and I could have used that because it was free but I sort of felt like actually I'd divide it by how many mils, blah, 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 blah. But this is a pound and I think five mils is two pounds of, of and that's how much I sort of had. So um, yeah, this was a pound and um, I also chose this because you can't really get this anywhere else but eBay. So I thought that was quite useful. Oh, the... Uh, the post woman just came um, and it's the first time I've filled downstairs so that was awkward anyway I'm gonna use this first and I've already prepped my face in terms of moisturizer but I didn't use a primer it's a it's sort of a cheat because it's a two-in-one so I'm actually going to use this with my fingers um, and put this all over my face I'm going to use my glasses to sort of push my hair back because and get it away from my face so just using my fingers for this. Now I would normally use a beauty blender, but my beauty blender would be three, two thirds or three quarters of my actual budget. And fingers are all right, just for blending. There you go. <laughs> Let me just uh, just finish that off. Okay, so I've put a, a very light coverage on and I have an MUA Cover and Conceal uh, lightweight cover-up. I think this was a pound. I'm pretty sure it was, to be honest, because I think I chose this because I knew it was a pound. Um, it isn't my favourite, but it's all right, actually. It's quite creamy. does what it says on the tin. It does cover up. So I'm going to use it under my eyes. Um, hmm. It's probably about to go, so I probably shouldn't be using it on my face, but never mind. I have had it a while and I don't use it very often. This is in the lightest shade. What is the lightest shade? Does it say? 
Oh, I think it's rubbed off. Yeah, it's in the lightest shade though, I know, I know that for a fact, because I usually just, anything in the lightest shade. So um, I'm actually going to use my fingers for this as well. There is a fly, which is not welcome at all. So that's a running total of two pounds so far. I wonder how the other girls have sort of got on. I haven't used my fingers for years. I used to always use my fingers, but I didn't like the sort of feeling of having it all over my hands. But it's not too bad. It's not the same as having a beauty blender, that's sure. So I'm going to use this powder. You can see um, that it's, it's a hip pan. I had it ages ago. I haven't really used it for a really long time. Apologies for Rupert. And I'm going to use this brush, which is from a set that was about £15. And there was roughly... Uh, no, it was £8 and it was 15 brushes. So it's roughly 50p a brush. Um, so I'm going to use... It's a translucent powder and it's the Miss Sporty So Clear Anti-Blemish Actions Press Powder up to seven hours healthy looking skin, Dermatol dermatologically tested for young skin. I mean, I don't have young skin, that's for sure. Um, but I got this for a pound again in one of the bargain shops. You can hear Rupert coming in now. He's having a right grumble. At something. The um, window cleaner just came and he just hates the window cleaner and he's actually to a point where anybody that looks like the window cleaner he grumbles at which is really off-putting because he's such a lovely dog and people think he's dangerous because he's barking so loudly at people for no reason. <clears throat> so that's three pounds running total. Um, <clears throat> I have this, which is the Freedom Pro Contour in Fair. Um, I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna try and get as much as possible in. And this is 350, so that makes this up to, well, hold on, that was 350. That makes this up to seven. Plus the brush is 750. This is another brush. This is a, a small tapered brush. And I'm just going to contour the face lightly. Oh, my hair keeps getting caught in everything. How annoying. With this one. It's a good job we didn't do the like five minute challenge or anything like that because that would have been impossible. But 20 pounds is pretty hard. What did I say that was coming to? 750 at the moment. So we're at £7.50 with this. So this is 3 50 I'm just going to use the highlighter with this brush as well. This is so pretty and creamy and lovely. Now, I know that a lot of people are genuinely um, concerned that this is the same brand as Makeup Revolution. And in some ways... It is, but in other ways, there are really good things that you don't get at Makeup Revolution. So there is a difference. I do think I noticed the difference now. Oh dear. So that's Freedom. In fact, um, the single eyeshadows are just incredible. And I'm also going to use this. This is the Essence So Glow. Um, and it's a cream to powder highlighter. Now I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow base and a highlighter. So... Let's use it with my fingers. It's a bloody fly, it's so annoying. Bob off fly. I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks here, just at the top. Oh wait, that's not it. Okay, so that was 280, 750, let's say 1030. So at the moment we're at 1030. Um, 
I'm just going to use that on my eyes as a base. Let me just. I actually did use this once as a base. I can't remember why. I think I'd forgotten to bring something with with me, and it was so good. It was it was a shock actually how good it was. Um, so I would highly recommend if you haven't got any bases to try this as a base. I mean, it's good for st helping for your um, eyeshadow to stand out, to be honest, but it isn't really amazing for everything else. Right. Oh, this is really hard. I've got really, I'm getting um, pins and needles. Just bear with me. Okay, so next up I'm using another brush. I'm adding another 50p, so that is £10.80. And I'm taking the MUA blusher in Candy Floss. As you can see with this one as well, I have hit pan. It was in a Project 10 pan and I really tried to get a lot of use out of it, but in the summer I didn't really use it. This is an extra 50p, this is an extra pound, so that's 11.80. We're getting there, we're getting there. Um, and I'm just gonna put that lightly on my cheeks. There's still quite a lot of product on there these brushes but I really do like a stippling brush for blusher just because I feel like it doesn't give you too much product um, I actually did bring another brush but I don't think I'm gonna need it so that's good that's really good so we are now at what did I say 1180 I should write this down now I have a pen 1180 with that Oh, that's difficult to undo. 1180. That looks like a lot of blush, doesn't it? So I'm just going to use this to blend it out. There we go. Okay, and now for the eyes. How exciting. I'll just do one eye and then I'll do the other so you can um, at least see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take, first of all, um, I'm going to take my... Um, that's just the Pro Contour Kit and I'm going to take that light shade and use that as a brow highlight using my fluffy brush so that's an extra 50 pence and that means it's at 12.30 okay and then I'm going to take this eyeshadow that's 13.30 and this brush is 1380. This is Bright 230. It's such a stunning colour. And I'm actually going to be doing a halo look with these. So just putting that right in this edge here. And the same in this edge, just here, and the outer V. I'm really gonna get pack the product on there. Such a beautiful colour, honestly. I've never come across anything so stunning in my whole life. I think this is possibly my favourite ever, and that, this is a bold statement. Favourite ever eyeshadow the color the staying power everything about it just perfect for me okay oh, I'll do the other eye <laughs> being that I'm there already using the product what was I at 1330 I think so that rings a bell 1330 Okay, right, I've packed the colour on to those two, the outer edges and inner edges. And now, ow, 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 bear with me. Sorry for the repositioning. I've just got really bad pins and needles. Okay, now I'm adding this, which is the Mono Eyeshadows Bright 227. And it's a beautiful sort of ultraviolet shade. Um, and that brings the total up to 14.30 going to put that right in the centre of both eyes. I 
I hope Rupert's not having a wee. Oh no, the door's open. So we can have one outside. Excellent. Just taking the fluffy brush again and using that nice shade and just blending that out. Oh, this is so hard to do. <laughs> I've chosen a really awkward position to be in, haven't I? There we go. And I'm going to try and deepen up that colour even more on the edges. Just take this. Really make it stand out. I hope you're seeing this. I'm actually going to add some of the bronzer into it just to give it that extra sort of deepness. This is so hard to do here. I didn't plan very well, did I? I always say that. Obviously not very good at the whole planning thing. Okay. I'm just going to add a bit of deepness with the bronzer. Should just darken it up at the edge just slightly. And this side. Right. Okay. So that is currently how that looks. Once again, just going to take my blending brush and just sweep it over a bit and just blend out some of these harsh edges. I wish I was ambidextrous. That would be great. Okay, so the running total is 14.30. Let's write that down because otherwise we will forget. 14.30. So, mascara which is £1.50. So that takes our total up to, it's the Freedom Long Length Mascara, takes it up to 1580 We haven't got much to go either, so that's good. <sighs> so fifteen eighty. What do you think my total's going to be, guys? Just have a guess now. Have a little bet with your partner or something, with a friend. Do you think it's going to be under by a lot? Or do you think it's going to be over by a few pence? Like 30 pence as we've kind of gone into that realm? Do you think I might be at... A different... Do you think there's much to go? Do you think I might be in the £16, £17 or £18s? You will find out soon. Okay. Right. I'm going to add in... So we're at £15.80. Eyeliner. £1 eyeliner. Just a cheapy one. I'm going to do that with the camera off. Okay, so the eyeliner is done. I'm just going to take the darker of the two eyeshadows on this brush. Still the same brush as before, so I'm not adding in any more brushes at the moment. And we're at 1680. Just taking this under the eye, just slightly. That was good. I shut it. I don't know why I shut it. Ugh. I love these little pots. I think they're really cute. Highly recommend them, these eyeshadows. I bet you I'm not the only one who uses these though, because I know that um, some of the other girls have actually got these. So they're such good quality and they're such a low price that I bet you they use them. So I'm just going to blend underneath the eye, just take that under, 
There we go. That looks really nice. I really like that. Oh, I managed to get mascara on my nose. Okay, and then finally, two more products. We're at 16.80. Hmm, I'm going to recount it just to make sure because I feel like that's not right now. But you know, I suppose I didn't use a brush. Hmm. Okay, 17.80, 18.80. It would have been 18, 19. Yeah, that's right then, actually. So um, I'm going to use the Essence Lip Liner, which is a pound, in number 15, Honey Berry. I really like this one. It's a lovely autumnal colour. I was going to go, <laughs> I look so funny, I was going to go for a purple lip and I thought no, that would be a bit too dramatic. So I decided to go for the Freedom, it's sort of a plummy colour, um, Freedom Pro Lipstick Pro now in 119 Adorn and it is like a purpley plum and I haven't used this on its own yet. Good match isn't it? And there you have it. Wow, that lipstick is <laughs> quite out there compared to the eye makeup look. But do you know what? I really like it. Um, let's see what the finished look sort of looks like. That is the halo look. And the total was... 18 pounds and 80 pence so I thought to sort of bring up the price um, just up to 19 pounds 80 I will include this nail varnish which is a pound from um, where was it from Poundland <laughs> where else Leah um, just so that I could really push up to the nearly the 20 pound mark so for less than £20, I managed to do my nails, I have managed to contour, highlight, I've managed to um, use brushes, lots of different eyeshadows, uh, lipsticks, highlighters, you name it, powder, everything. Uh, the only thing that I didn't really use is a beauty blender and um, um, a concealer palette really. But apart from that, I think I've done pretty well I really can't wait to see how the other girls have got on and I'm looking forward to seeing what their looks are like as well because purple is such a beautiful color especially for me I've got sort of greeny hazily eyes I really love this and um, yeah I really look forward to seeing you in my next one and please check out the other girls it is our penultimate one next week is blue the last one um, and yeah, I've really enjoyed this challenge and I can't wait for the next one. We'll let you know what that is soon. See you later. Bye.